What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasr from iGeometry, and today we will discuss web adapters. So, uh, web adapters is is a pass-through software or application that allows you to mask the ArcGIS server into different kind of ports for security reasons, extra checking, authentications, and, and, and much more. Uh, putting your, your your servers into a DMZ, uh, load balancing, even that, right? So, web adapter. So, let's let's quickly go through a quick drawing here so we can explain what a web adapter is. So you have your GIS server here. So uh, I'm going to reference how did we install a GIS server and what is a GIS server, which is the ArcGIS server machine. So that's the first component you install in your, in your computer. And that becomes your GIS server. Okay, And you can have multiple machines with a GIS server. Okay, and all are running on. Ooh, that is as big, dude. Forty. Yeah, thirty is big. Let's make it thirty. Yeah, why not? So this is running by default when you install uh, ArcGIS server. There is a mini web server. Basically, Apache Tomcat is installed with each ArcGIS server machine here running on two ports actually 64434 for http and 6680 for http so let's just for simplicity we're gonna say just 6443 if you want to just configure security okay so we have three machines here uh, s1 s2 s3 who need who needs photoshop right Oh, some people are making fun of me now as I use this. Are we recording? Yes. All right. So you can access, and uh, let's assume we didn't talk about the server side and anything, but let's assume the whole, these three machines are part of one server site. Okay. We're going to discuss how to join multiple machines into the same server site. So all of these guys belong to one server site you so you can access s3 6443 s2 6443 or s1 6443 basically like that right s1 6443 of gis that that takes you to the to the site of uh, that machine and if they are all of them are in the same server side they will all go to the ser same you will basically managing the same server side okay but if you hit this you'll basically hit that machine okay if you hit this you'll you'll hit that machine and so on okay so how do you load balance through them and just mask all of that that's when the web adapter comes in here where you install this box basically and that box usually not necessary usually it runs on top of port 80 okay and then what you do is okay I'm saying okay I wanna uh, register I think is the right word my web adapter with this server site I'm not registering with one machine you can pick any machine and it will just magically work I just need access to the site and then the site will advertise the machines to the web adapters and then clients which that's you right there will hit the web adapter and then the web adapter will do some sort of round robin uh, load balancing uh, it's not even a load balancing really it's just hitting one machine after another so request number one comes goes to this machine request number two goes to this machine request number three goes to this machine so kind of like uh, round robin approach of 
just flipping through requests, right? Doesn't take into consideration, oh, this server is overloaded. Let's, let's, let's move you to this. No, it's not that smart yet. So, all right, enough babbling. Let's do some work. Okay, on this machine here, this machine is called iGeometry, and I did install ArcGIS server on this machine. Jesus, are you kidding me, Firefox now? What the hell? I just, I just ran this like a minute ago. Jeez. All right. I geometry six four four three slash arcgis slash manager, and it takes you whoop, it hoops directly into the site. Okay, I don't have any other machine in this, so that's the only machine we have here. Let's go ahead and install the web adapter. So by the by default, web adapters are web servers, right? Run on web servers. They are web applications. So that web application have to run on a web server. So we have two kind of web adapters for IIS and basically Windows and for Tomcat which is a uh, Java I think. So let's get to install since we are using IIS we're gonna install this web adapter. In this case I chose to install it on the same machine okay and we can choose to install it on different machines and that's the recommended approach so what we will end up here doing is we will install iGeometry on port 80 uh, actually port 443 which is the secure port and then we will be ac able to access the our manager this way 6443 Again, guys, if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment down below, tweet at me, email me, all right, so feel free, okay? So, obviously, I don't have IIS here, so the good thing is that this tool actually enables IIS for you in case you don't have it. So, I'm going to go ahead and say agree, and we're going to see you when this is done. All right, and IIS installed. Next is just a prompt for this to install the actual uh, uh, web application, the web adapter. So you will go ahead and install. We will enable this. This approach is the cross-domain policy files. We I talk uh, I talk about this in a book for a bit. So just very briefly here. This is to enable cross-domain policies so applications that tries to hit your server uh, while they are not in the same domain so like let's say your your domain is igeometry.google.com and you're trying to access uh, this site from yahoo.com it will be blocked so having this enabled will will you'll be able to hit that server so it's kind of a security risk here so it's you have to really know what you're doing here to enable that okay uh, grab the book I talk in details about that concept go ahead and say next this is the name of the web adapter so what when I basically the name of the web application so if I do I geometry what is the name of the uh, uh, application that will be installed here so the default is ArcGIS, you can call whatever you want. Okay, let's let's keep it ArcGIS here, just for consider. But you can call it WA server, you know. Sometimes you install a web adapter for portal, you will call it portal, and web adapter for server, you will call it server. You can do that as well. Okay, but we're discussing just server today, so we'll keep that as ArcGIS, but don't confuse that this ArcGIS, you cannot change. It get, it comes with the Tomcat built-in server. It's always ArcGIS. But this can change. Okay? So let's just go ahead and name it ArcGIS. Next, install. And we'll see you when this is done. All right, that didn't took 
that didn't take long, very quick, installing that. Basically what happened, it installed a file in inetbub w root, that's your folder, ArcGIS. In Tomcat, you'll have to do some manual work, like copying a war file uh, if you were installing uh, the Linux version of Web Adapter. So let's go ahead and just uh, finish. Maybe we'll do another episode just for, for Linux Web Adapter. So when you hit finish, it will redirect you to the configuration. So you installed your Web Adapter, but now you have to configure the Web Adapter. I have no idea why this is taking so long. It's right there, sir. The server is right there. Same machine. No idea what you're doing. No idea whatsoever. What are you doing? Okay. In case some people like loses this side or like accidentally goes up, oh, we close that up, oh, up. Oh. You can always get to it. So, but you have to remember the name of the ArcGIS server, uh, web adapter. So it's always HTTPS iGeometry ArcGIS slash web adapter. I always confuse the web adopter and adapter. Okay. All right. Unable to connect. God damn it. Why? Oh, because we didn't enable HTTP. I'm sorry. I have to go HTTPS. All right. Okay. Let's see what's wrong with this guy. So all these kind of problems. This is a new machine. Never done this before. <laughs> right. So you can get into all kind of weird problems. So let's just get let's just start to fix this problem here. So taking a long time. Let's go to the IIS manager here and just, yeah, let's hit that. That's your server right there. So I'm just going to restart that. After a while, I was going to say service not available because I obviously I killed it. So let's give it a shot now. All right. So after we restarted that, ArcGIS server, you, normally you shouldn't do that. I have no idea. This is Windows 8. So, again, things can be kinky. So you have to know what you're doing here. All right. So it's telling you here that you access that. You're, you have two options here, ArcGIS for server and portal for ArcGIS. Okay. So what is the web, this web adapter is for? Since the days are of portal, or ArcGIS Enterprise now we call it. You have the option here to configure which with this web adapter do you want it for ArcGIS server or for Porter or for both. You can do it for both. So this is telling you that oh you didn't configure it. A GIS server is not configured and a portal is not configured. So that that term is actually not correct. It should be as a server is not configured, or a server site is not configured, because the GIS server is just one entity, to me at least, all right? So a GIS server, this is a GIS server, this is a GIS server, this is a GIS server. The whole thing is a server site, okay? Let's configure ArcGIS for server. And what it needs from you here is the HTTPS port, iGeometry, slash uh, 6443, and then you will type in your password. This is your admin password, and that is just to connect and configure your web adapter to your uh, to your ArcGIS server. This option right there, I'm gonna enable it, but you have option to disable that. So, do you want this web adapter to expose the manager through uh, this application or not? Okay. And the answer is yes, I want to say, oh, HTTP I geometry slash ArcGIS slash server. I want to say that. I want to configure. If you want, if you want to push, let's say you're building an open application and you want this service or web adapter to be public, you don't want to check that box in that case. Trust me. Configure. Look at that. Real quick. <laughs> it's going to take my FIOS router. God damn frontier. Okay. And voila. It's done. How do I access it? 
our geometry slash our joyous slash manager yes sir very simple see no more ports you can block that port to the outside world keep it open internally and then ladies and gentlemen we have a web adapter maybe in the next episode we'll do a Linux web adapter you can register a Linux web adapter to a Windows of Joy server that's totally normal you can do that as long as the version of web adapter matches the version of ArcGIS server that you're registering it to. Hope that makes sense. I'm sorry, guys, if that was a bit weird with all these errors and restarting the IIS. Yeah, I had to stop the videos like multiple times to just go through this episode. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye. That's a very long video for just registering a web adapter.